Things to know about being in the calorie deficit. Getting into a calorie deficit is pretty easy. We see people time and time again dropping 50% of their calories. Reality is more likely to be dropping 15% of their calories and they'll do it longer term sustainable. Those people who drop that 50% often fall off after about four weeks. Yes, the truth is the more of a deficit you're in, the more weight loss you're probably gonna get, but it's about sustaining that long term over a longer period of time. It doesn't become very effective. So things you need to understand about being in a deficit. Yes, you may get hungry. Okay, you may feel tired, you may feel weaker. These are all natural reactions to being in a deficit. If you think you're in a deficit because you've done a macro calculator and you're not losing weight, you're not in a deficit. Make sure that you track multiple things, not just scale weight because that can fluctuate, but look at your measurements, maybe images, do different things and then review that. Don't just review after three days because that's too short a period. Look at the longer term, give yourself 30 days. Are you being consistent with this? Is it a Monday to Friday thing or actually you doing seven days, two weeks, a month of being consistent? Are you being accurate or are you just guesstimating how much food you're having? Okay, be patient. People aren't patient when it comes to weight loss. We want it done in seven days. As I said at the beginning, you can probably do it in seven days, but then fall off track. The way to sustain this long term is having the right environment around you, people around you, support around you. And yes, you might be able to attack it a little bit harder and faster, as long as you know what to be doing off the back end of that to stay consistent and keep it off long term.